Hi there, this is a training video session by GG Technologies. In this training video session, I will show you how to install Exchange Server 2010 on Windows Server 2008 R2. Believe it or not, Exchange 2010 is available only in 64-bit edition, and we can make the best of it, if we install it in Windows Server 2008 R2. Before getting into the setup, you have to perform some initial configurations to install the prerequisites for Exchange 2010. The initial configurations are as follows. First, you have to change the startup type of NAT TCP port sharing service from manual to automatic for client access server role. Then, install Microsoft Filter Pack for servers that host the hub transport or mailbox server role. These prerequisites are applicable only for Windows Server 2008 R2, but for others the list may vary. For others check it out at this link. Now I use the PowerShell interface to install the essential components for Exchange 2010 installation. Type this command to import the server manager modules. Then, type this command to install the accessory operating system components. After the execution of the command, system restarts automatically. Now let's kick off the installation from the setup, with the source either in system drive or DVD drive. Choose the language option. Here I choose the option, install the languages present only in DVD. Now, just go through the introduction, before the installation. Then, accept the license agreement. If you wish to enable the exchange error reporting feature, select yes. Here you can choose your installation type, and can also specify the path of the exchange server program files. I select the custom installation type, with default path for exchange server files. Now. Select the server roles. Here, I select mailbox role, hub transport role, and client access role. The management tools is selected by default. Here I type my exchange organization name in this box. If you have client computers running, Outlook 2003 and earlier versions, select yes. Since in my network, no Outlook 2003 clients are available, so I select no. Now enter the external domain name which is used to connect to the clients external to the domain, through Internet. The Customer Experience Improvement Program uses the information about how you use Microsoft Exchange, thereby you can use it to optimize the performance of your organization. Readiness Checks verifies whether the prerequisites of each selected component are installed properly. After its completion, Click Install. The installation process takes few minutes to several hours depending on your computing environment. After the installation of entire roles and features, Exchange Server installation is completed successfully. Now click Finish to confirm the conclusion. Finally, you can view your fresh and sophisticated Exchange Management Console. We hope that this training session made your task of installing Exchange 2010 simple and interesting. We feel happy in providing you with the training on how to install Exchange Server 2010. For queries, feel free to contact us at guruji at ggtech.com. In our forthcoming training session you can quench your thirst on how to manage mailbox and Exchange Server 2010. Looking forward to serve you better. Thank you.